Hey everybody, this is Brian here. I hope you're having a great day. To, uh, I was on a couple of days ago and you know we talked about aliens again and aliens are still in the news, but what else is in the news is it's just, folks, <laughs> every time I come on, there's so much to talk about. I know I'm repeating myself, but wow, wow, wow. Um, as you know, or you may not know this, the United States uh, attacked the Houthis in Yemen uh, and I, I heard 60 different targets were hit. Um, also, yesterday I did a video that it was the day before. Time just flying. I don't know if it was yesterday. I think it was that the Iranian Navy took over a U.S. oil tanker and took it, taking it to port in Iran. Haven't heard too much about that on the news, but you can look it up. It did happen, but the mainstream news is not talking about it, and uh, you know, it would make the administration look bad. Who knows why? But it's just not. They're not talking about it, but they are talking about this attack that the United States took uh, with the UK on uh, on the Houthis in Yemen for their attacks against naval shipping in the area. So why is this huge? Because Iran supports them. And then Iran took this oil tanker. Folks, what we see on the news is just the tip of the iceberg, what's really going on behind the scenes. Like I said before, and I'll say it again, I believe what's happened uh, October 7th in Israel, and since then is the beginning of the Psalms 83 war, Ezekiel 38, 39, and Isaiah 17, 1. 17, 1 is the destruction of Damascus in one night. Ezekiel 38, 39 is an invasion of the Middle East by Gog and Magog, by Russia and its allies coming down from the north to invade Israel. And uh, the Psalms 83 war is a war with all of Israel's surrounding neighbors that are in, surround her border. All this is happening every single day. We had a huge uh, flare that happened just, I think, yesterday or today. And I don't know if it's reached the Earth yet, but we've had one of those. The Earth and the sun is just heating up. The planet's changing, folks. The weather's changing. Down here in Southern California, we have UV ratings like everybody else. And it used to be, if you had a UV rating of six or above, which was considered moderate, they'd recommend a six or above to wear sunscreen. Uh, now they've changed that rating to three. So three is considered moderate. The atmosphere is changing. Things are happening. You know why. I've mentioned before why I think this is happening. Um, I just, you know why. And it's just... The earth is changing. It mentions in the scriptures that at one point the earth is so devastated by wars and natural disasters that it wobbles like a drunken man in space. And literally, the earth is going to wobble on its axis and lose a little bit of its orbit. Hard to believe, but we're seeing the beginnings of these things by the strange weather we're having. Um, the sun has been acting up, earthquakes been acting up and now you've got um, wars and rumors of wars we've got um, a US attacking the Houthis in Yemen this is huge folks this stuff that's going on is going to continue to escalate China and Russia have not got directly involved that's coming uh, China is still flying its jets over Taiwan airspace I think over 200 jets in one day uh, buzz their coastline they're they're testing the waters and I believe what's going on with in the Middle East is a test of the waters of what's about this administration folks we're living in perilous times obviously you know but as I mentioned before you know don't be scared there's nothing to be scared about um, matter of fact if uh, I can't do it I don't have um, don't have it here. Oh, I do. Hold on one minute, folks. <laughs> um, I have my Bible. I was looking for my iPad, but a Bible is better. And I've read this before. Um, I'm going to read it. Actually, it's in the Old Testament, too. And I know I've quoted these verses. It's been a while since I've read this one. Um, Isaiah, if I can find it here. Uh, let's see. It's different when you're on your phone. You just push a button. This is the old-fashioned way. You have to look it up. <laughs> and here we go. Come on. There it is. Isaiah 26. 
and I was just didn't plan to do this video just doing the last minute here Isaiah 26 okay I always quote uh first uh first, excuse me that's first Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 13 about the rapture first Corinthians chapter 15 verses 52 50 52 in there to the end is all about the rapture but and I've read this before but it's been a little while Isaiah 26 19 believe it or not if you have friends there's there's no it doesn't talk about the catching away of the saints in the new old testament well it does and it's 26 19 isaiah 26 19 and it says your uh let me go back uh okay your 19 verse 19 your dead will live their corpses will rise. You will lie in the dust, awake and shout for joy. For your dew is as the dew of the dawn. And the earth will give birth to the departed spirits. Come, my people, into your rooms and close your doors behind you. Hide, your, hide for a little while until indignation runs its course. For behold, the Lord is about to come from his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for the iniquity and the earth will reveal her bloodshed and no longer cover its slain. Right there. We're going to be raptured and taken up before the tribulation. That's what this verse is talking about. It's totally talking about that. And 1 Thessalonians, I'll read it because I just quoted it. Um, it's when you don't have your iPad and phones, you can't got to look it up. It's so funny. Oh, uh, here it is. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brethren, about those who are asleep, so that you will not grieve as do the rest who have no hope. For the, for, for, uh, for, uh, sorry, folks. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we shall always be with the Lord, always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. We're always going to be with him. We're with him now, but we're on the earth. Soon, we're going to hear a trumpet, the shout of the archangel, and we will be caught up into the clouds to meet the Lord where? In the air. Not on the earth, in the air. Two separate events. The second coming, he comes to the earth. The rapture, we meet him in the air, and we're taken into heaven for seven years to be married to the Lord. While all hell's breaking loose down here, we're at the marriage supper of the Lamb in heaven. We come back with him at the end of those seven years. In chapter 19 of Revelation, we watch him defeat the armies of the world. And he sets up his kingdom for a thousand years. That whole scenario I just gave you is about to happen any day. All these things you see happening in the news every day that you may be getting used to seeing, don't get used to seeing them. They're all prophetic events talked about in scripture. And we're seeing it every day. We're about to go to heaven. When is it? I don't know. Some people, and myself, I believe it's in the fall with Rosh Hashanah, but I'm not sure. Rosh Hashanah is a two-day feast. Is it Rosh Hashanah? I don't know. And if it is, what day of the feast is it? I don't know the day or the hour. I don't know. It could be wrong, but it sure looks possible. But if it could be now. We don't know exactly. We just know where we are commanded to watch and be alert. And for those who are watching, there's a crown of righteousness that will be given to those who are uh, look, loving his appearing. If you're loving and you can't wait for the rapture and you're just steadfast and you you just, you just try to tell your friends that are believers, you're trying to do your best to live for the Lord, you're going to receive a crown of righteousness that you're going to throw back at his feet once we're there. Because Revelation chapter 4 and 5, that's what we do. So folks, we are almost there. Don't be afraid with the stuff. This, I'm telling you, more stuff's going to be coming out in the next few weeks and months. We're going to see crazy things that we've never thought we'd see. You think the alien thing in Vegas was big? We're going to be able, I believe, we're going to be able to see them in a clear video very soon. Because they're Nephilim. 
they're here. They're part of the lie. I talked about that in my last video. So folks, we are right at the door. We are right there. We are the generation that's going to see the return of the Lord. So may God bless you and you guys have a great weekend. And it's bright out. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.